Okay, so now we're going to put the provis in. Let's inject a little to keep the iris out of our way, and we advance as we inject. Go dead center with a subtle tilt down. You can see that shine off the posterior capsule, but I'm not really touching it. I want to make sure this goes in the bag, not over the bag. See how it goes. Confirm that it is, and I sort of follow the bag downward as it and once I see it come out of the wound, I know I've overfilled these lenses. The acrylic lenses are very sticky. It's better to overfill versus underfill. You don't want them sticking to the capsule. Okay, this is a D cartridge. It enters in my 275 wound. I go dead center. That's as far as I can go. I engage my screw mechanism. And I s hold it with my dominant hand, screw with my left, my non-dominant. And I'm tilting to the left to making sure the lens centers nicely and doesn't tilt upside down on me. Lester, please. Now, you can do lots of ways of centering the lens. This is a Lester collar button. I come in and I push the whole lens down. And then I pull it towards me. This way I don't have to touch the haptics, just the optic. It's a very, you can see it's a nice five and a half millimeter rexus. Well centered. If you were doing a premium IOL, you'd want to capture. You don't want a six millimeter rexus. Sorry, am I on viscoelastic? Mm -hmm. no. Okay, same IA. I'm going to take the viscoelastic out to prevent any pressure spikes. She's got a lot in her AC as a myope. She has a deep AC. I, I tended to stay dead center and just turn my port side to side. And come out under irrigation. Try to keep the wound. To close the wound, you use an angle 27 gauge. Try to sneak through so you don't dump fluid out of the AC as you do that, so you're not pushing posteriorly at all. See some subtle posterior movement there with dumping of the AC, but not much. Now all wounds will leak if you push them, so what I do is just gently dry it. <coughs> and it stays dry. All done. Hey, Ms. Collins, it was